Hello everyone. How about a Dollar Tree haul today? Does that sound fun? It does to me. Um, how about Halloween? I feel so very lucky I got this wonderful $1.25 hanging plaque made out of the pressed wood or paper, whatever it is, the thick material. Isn't that the bomb? Yes, I think it's so much like uh, Beetlejuice and the, what is it, Mackenzie and Childs? Is that adorable? Oh, I just, I feel so lucky to get that. The other thing is I just love the vintage cat. I hope you're able to find some of these wonderful items from Dollar Tree. They're just so cute. So there's a kitty cat going in the planner. It's got a steak. And then what else did I get? Oh yes, another Halloween item. Look at that. Work your magic pot holders in the lovely color purple, purple, purple. Isn't that adorable? You know, I don't know. I just love these because they're, you you know, you get kind of tired of them, but I don't know. I do hang on to them more than a year, but you got to be careful because they're not all that wonderful for a really, really hot items. So be careful using these if you use them. Um, you know, I'm going to try to get all the Halloween stuff. I have another surprise coming up, coming up. Okay, here's something I found. The little uh, um, glass jars, the miniature flasks. Aren't those cute? Two pieces. What a buy, $1.25, amazing. Also, how about the candy corn gnome? <laughs> that adorable? What is this on your beard, kid? Oh, oh, got it, piece of uh, whatever. But isn't he adorable? Or she? I guess it's a he with the beard. <laughs> Get your gender correct here. But a candy corn gnome, yes. Everybody needs one of these in their lives. <laughs> and how about this guy? Oh yeah, the magician gnome. So these guys are going alongside the Frankenstein which you've already seen. So there's the the magic wizard gnome. Very cute, Dollar Tree. I think you've outdone yourself on gnomes. Is that about it? Oh, nope, I got a few more. Dollar Tree items for Halloween. I think that's it. So I got the flower sack towels. I got two different styles. I got this one, Death by Candy. If that isn't true, I don't know what is. And there we have Safari coming to join the show. Come here, Safari. Say hi to everybody. That's Safari, my little inquisitive cat. She's into everything all the time. She's a super fluff. She's a doll. Look at her little tail. Yes. Okay, I'm letting you down. There you go. Okay, back to the flower sacks. And here's this one. This is where the magic is made or magic happens. <laughs> That's a true statement for cooks out there. Don't we love just throwing everything together and making magic? <laughs> At least I do. And then you saw the death by candy, but isn't this adorable? It's got candy corn all over it. And yeah, this, they're nice. I'm gonna use them for all kinds of reasons. Not so much a hand towel, could be a drying towel. Or I don't know. Hang it just for decoration. Poor cats. And I think that is it. I did find some of the the socks, the poltergeist. That's kind of cute. Socks. They seem really nice quality. One pair. I just love Dollar Tree. Everything at Dollar Tree. Yes, yes, on Dollar Tree. Oh, I got another pair of socks. This is uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, those are fine. Very cute. And is that it? I think I'm running out of Halloween. I think I'm done with the Halloween. Yep, yep, okay. Now onward, we got makeup. So I got this. It's kind of a brown caramel color nail polish. You know, I like it. It's the Sally Hansen, I think it is. 
instant dry. Nice. I didn't think it wasn't as durable as the Maybelline dry fast one, the fast gel. That's what I'm wearing today, the Maybelline. But this is okay. And then I got another one in this one looks interesting with the glitter pieces in it for an instant dry. I really like the instant dry. It's fun. It's easy to use. Then I found this eyeshadow. I think this is going to be great for, um, what is it, champagne bubble. Could be for like a highlighter maybe, or maybe on the inner corner, working into the darker color. Might work out really well. Let's, let's open it up and take a look at it. I always look for these, the LA colors. So there it is. Open her up and see. I'm going to just put it on, give it a test to see what color it is. Oh, yeah, it's it's really light. Yeah, that's not dark at all. I think that'll work for how I want to apply it, right in the corners to just kind of make my eyes look whiter, maybe. And it has kind of a metallic sheen to it. Yeah, that's that's nice. And then I got another one. This one is called Copper Penny. Copper Penny. This looks nice too. I love LA colors. I'm getting, um, I used to call it a mediocre <laughs> makeup, but bad, bad. I shouldn't have. Because I enjoy it. It's only $1.25. And I'm a cheapskate, I guess. I'm a cheapskate. So this is the copper one. Ooh, wow. Oh, I think I'm going to like that. That's pretty dramatic. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, I think I'm going to like that. That's unusual. Okay. I don't have anything like that at all. Then I also bought this auto liner in white. I thought I might try that underneath the eye to make the eyes look bigger. You might notice me looking different. <laughs> I'll try this one day. So that's that, the liquid liner. Any other makeup? I think I did buy some other makeup here. Um, yeah, I did. I got a couple other LA colors. Eyeshadow. This one is the darker one called... Um, oh, I think I've lost that part of the package. But it is a darker color, brown. I'm enjoying the liquid eye eyeshadows. Yeah, that's much darker. But I think I'm going to like that. I like a darker color on the outside. So that's that one. And then um, here we have a purple one. This one's called Vivid Purple. Yes, I'll vouch for that. Here we go. And that's a Vivid Purple right there. Well, it's kind of lighter than I thought it was going to be. That's going to need a couple of coats on. That's probably going to work out, but I just have to apply a couple of... Get it thick enough. Yeah, that's nice. It's metallic-y, too, like the others. So, yay for LA Colors. I'm liking that. Here's another um, makeup item. I bought the Plumping Lip Gloss. And I got a tinted color. This is Call Me is the color. Call Me. Let's try it. I've been anxious to try this to see if it, uh, if it stings. Everybody says that plumping lipstick is kind of a, a stinging application or surprising, I guess. I don't know. Plumping your lips is painful. We don't want it to be painful, but we'll give it a try. Give it a go. Uh, uh, yeah, there I got it. Paper's easier than plastic <laughs> to tear. So there I got the Call Me. Isn't that a pretty color? We'll just try it over my... I've got kind of a rust color lipstick on. Let's try this. Yeah, you won't be able... Oh, I think I, I get the stinging part. Oh, yes. Uh-oh, uh -oh, I'm in trouble now. Why in the world, or how in the world? It's 
just a shock to your system. Where's the where's the package? I gotta read the I gotta read what it says about that. Where is the packaging? The plumping stuff. God, I ripped it all up. I don't know if I can read about it. Plumping. Is this the plumping one? Nope. Where did I put that? Ah, oh, it's plumping. Is this it? Plumper, lip plumper. Uh-huh. Tingling formula. Yes. Creates fuller looking lips while adding a subtle hint of color. Are they getting bigger? Oh man, I do feel that. Apply to lips in a side to side motion. Hmm. What's in here? Parfinum and liquidum mineral oil. Polyisobutane butene hydrogenated styrene isoprene copolymer ethyl hexyl palmate parfum thought i smelled that odor in there vanilla butyl ether synthetic fluorophyllic whoa 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 i'm over my head <laughs> way over okay uh mm-hmm I wonder how long that uh, tingling formula lasts on your lips. Hmm. Uh, it just feels like it's doing something. <laughs> it's not overly bad. It's kind of like put hot sauce on your mouth maybe a little bit like that, like Tabasco sauce smeared around. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That's different. You know, I'll give this a go and let you know. Maybe it's working. I hope it doesn't hurt anything. <laughs> there I go. More on the plumping. Do you notice any difference? I almost think it looks like I have less wrinkles on my lips. I'm not sure. Do I look fuller? Hmm. Tingling is kind of subsiding. You know, it must be popular enough people want to buy it and they're making it. Well, we'll give it a go. I'll keep trying it. I hope it doesn't hurt my lips. Okay. And let's see. Oh, I got another uh, Sally Hansen Instant Dry in the blue. That's very pretty. This is Instant Dry Pride and it's like a sorry blue, I think. Blue Serenity. Well, that is not purpley blue. That's pretty. I'm gonna like that one. I'm gonna like it a lot. Then I got some more of these slides. I like to exercise in slides, you know, inside the house. So I have a cushion for my foot. Nice. Dollar twenty-five. I really enjoy these drains, uh, strainers, gills, the mesh strainers for the sink tub work out really good oh yes and my favorite wizard uh, the cookies what is this called the vanilla cookies I adore that scent it's so amazing oh it's intoxicating I can smell it right here these must leak a little bit you know when they get kind of a frosted look that might be leaking a little bit but it hasn't lost very much so we're still good to go I found something fun. The leave-in conditioner, Brazilian mist. Oh, I'm wild about this scent. So let's smell this. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's living up to Brazilian. The Brazilian mist. Yes, we got the pistachio. Is that what is in here? Notes of pistachio and salted caramel. Caramel. Got that. Got another, oops, drop the bag. Beauty Cream by Dove. I like using this to remove eye makeup and stuff. It's pretty gentle. Then I got another of this one. I love this scent, the pumpkin spice. It's very 
I would say has more of a masculine scent to it. More earthy. Um, no hard to describe, but I like it. It's my favorite one of those, of the soaps. I put it in, I'm using it for hand soap too. Then I'm gonna try the Revitalizing Eye Serum. I got this from Be Pure. Let's take a look at this. I think this is a um, We want to see the packaging. I was very curious as to what it looked like. Okay, it says compared to Olay Eye Lifting Serum. So what do you do? Apply to eye area day and night. Work to smooth serum around under eye, outer corner, and eyelids. Yeah, I hope it's gentle. Uh, I'm really... There's the... It's coming out of the bottle type thing. Still coming out of the bottle. So, mm -hmm. like heavier, no, no scent really. That's my Brazilian mist. <laughs> so here we go with that. That's nice. I need all the hand cream I can get. I look so dry today. Dry, she's drying out. Okay, my last item. This is it. Here we go. Here we go. Isn't that great for a dollar fifty? A new way to age. Suzanne Summers. I hated it when she passed away. She she was a favorite with me. There we go. Suzanne Summers book. This was originally uh, quite expensive. I'm sure. I'm not tearing the sticker off. Oh, it says inside um, twenty eight dollars originally. Dollar twenty five. Not bad. So yes. Loving Suzanne Summers, and how about Tyra Banks? I got this one. It has, uh, she says, it mentions her mother, uh, Tyra and her mama. 10 things crazy, fierce mama taught me about beauty, booty, and being a boss. Anyone that loves her mama is good in my book. Love you too, Tyra. And then last of all, another book in Hoffa's Shadow. I thought this just seemed like a really good try. I'm sure it was expensive too. Um, yeah, originally $28. They put it under political science uh, bi um, biography. So yeah, that's, I love the books. I've really been enjoying all the books I've gotten from Dollar Tree. Well, that's my haul. That's my Dollar Tree haul. It's done. We did it. Oh, I bought some of this, the Diaper Rash Zinc Cream. This is pretty neat for $1.25. Uh, same, same uh, what do you call it, uh, potency as Desitin. And it's a two and a half ounce. For $1.25, it's probably the cheapest you can find, the Zinc Oxide Cream. It's good for all kinds of stuff. Not just your butt. <laughs> anyway. Well, that's my haul. Wishing you all the best. Come back and see me again sometime. Um, that's it, huh? Bye-bye for now.